Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Marla and I am a stay-at-home mom of three. Um, I had three kids, under, three kids under three. My oldest is now four and my youngest is one. So I still have little toddlers running around and I have several days a week where I just feel like I'm gonna lose it and like I can't go on and I can't do it anymore. So I want to make this video to tell you guys or I guess give you tips on what you can do and these are things that I do to help get through the day and help make it to the end of the day without feeling like you're just gonna lose it. So I hope you guys can, you know, take something out of this video and even apply one of these tips to, you know, your life and your situation and uh, hopefully it gives you some relief. So let's get started. So the very first thing I'm gonna say is that I always make sure before I go to bed that everything is prepped for the morning. So I make sure the living room is clean and organized. I make sure the sink is empty. I make sure that breakfast, or at least the ingredients are all prepped and ready in the fridge so I can whip up a breakfast fast in the morning. Um, I pretty much just make sure the whole house is good to go so that it doesn't have to be spotless, but just good enough so that when you wake up in the morning, you have a good start to your day and you don't feel like there's already a huge to-do list first thing in the morning. Um, that way, when you do wake up, you just can focus on giving the kids breakfast so they don't start screaming and freaking out. Because my kids, if they don't have breakfast within like 10 minutes of waking up, it's game over. So um, I just focus on making them a good, healthy breakfast. And while they're eating, that's when I will go and take care of myself, brush my teeth, do my hair, make my bed, um, things like that. So if I, I find that, and sorry, the window's open so there's like cars driving by, but I find that if I don't have the house all set up and like the breakfast ingredients ready and all that bef like the night before I wake up in the morning and it's downhill like before I even get out of bed so that's probably my biggest tip and uh, I really recommend giving it a try if it's not something you you do or incorporate because I do think it'll help at least a little bit um the next thing is usually I find personally that by like mid-afternoon that's when it just starts getting crazy and the kids are just like wired and restless. So I have a couple tips. First of all, if it's nice weather, I recommend grabbing, you know, your cell phone or something, going outside with the kids. If this is provided that they are old enough, but go outside with the kids and let them play either in the backyard or the front yard, or even if you just have like a little parking lot or if you live in an apartment or like a little driveway, give them some chalk or some bubbles or something. Again, weather provided, um, providing the weather's good. And sit out there with them. You can be on your phone and, you know, watching a Netflix video or something, but that way they're outside. So you don't have to worry about them trashing your house, making your house a mess, and they can get their energy out. And the sun usually tends to tire them out. Um, if you have babies and your babies are like can't really crawl around outside or something I would recommend trying to go for a walk but I know that that can be exhausting especially if you have more than one kid so again that is weather provided and it really depends on your situation but if going outside going for a walk if these are not options and I recommend finding an area in your house getting some kind of drop cloth whether it's like a big huge newspaper or an old um, rag I have a big like stained big white blanket we actually use for painting so many times I'll take it out open it up spread it out onto the floor me and the kids are all gather around and I literally give them markers and I say you only can write on this blanket and they just go crazy and write on the blanket or we'll do crafts on the blanket or I'll give them like big pasta noodles or something let them play with that and just make a mess but only on the blanket that way when we're done with our craft or our, or, or our activity I just grab the whole blanket and like carry it out like a Santa bag and dump it outside in the garbage or on the grass if whatever's on it um, or throw it right into the laundry so um, that's a good way to just get everyone to sit down together and have like quiet relaxing time without you feeling like you're gonna go crazy and again while everyone's sitting there making a mess you can be watching a Netflix video on your phone you know because you're still watching them but you can still do your own thing or read a book or something so that's something that I do all the time especially when I feel like I'm gonna lose it the next tip is if my kids are going absolutely crazy I will sit them down and say you guys can all have a snack we have to sit down and be quiet and I'll give them like a raisin box or some kind of snack that should hold them over for a few minutes and in those few minutes, I will grab a snack of my own or a drink and not non-alcoholic, that sounded funny, and a drink, but I will go into my bedroom and lock the door and I'll sit in my room for a few minutes and I really like watching Netflix. I find it just, t I can take my mind off of everything and just watch something um, or I'll read a book. Um, you can color, like do the adult coloring books. Um, but just take a few minutes for yourself to sit down and just say this is my time and whatever happens out there is okay because I'm going to be in here for five to ten minutes to relax. So I do this a couple times throughout the day because if I don't, I just feel like it's exhausting because they're always tugging at you and asking for things and always needing you. So um, it can get really exhausting. The next tip, and this is 
a big one I guess for us is I get them to bake with me now I know again this is exhausting especially if you have a newborn or a little baby who's demanding so what I will do is I'll put my youngest in the high chair buckle her up so she can't leave and I'll give her snacks on her tray or a craft or something something she can play with spoons or forks something then I will take my older ones that are old enough to either sit on the counter or stand on a chair at the counter with me or on a stool and I'll get them to help me you know bake something so if I'm gonna make a pizza for dinner, say, I will work on rolling out my own dough that we're actually gonna eat, but I will give them a piece of the dough for themselves to like roll out on their own and give them a little roller or like a little cup to roll it out or something. And I'll say, you guys make your own pizzas and I'll even give them a little bit of toppings and they can go crazy and they're probably not gonna end up eating them. Sometimes we'll bake them and actually they turn out pretty well, but it's mostly just for them to like keep them busy and keep them away from me for a few minutes during that time i will listen to country music or i will listen to a podcast or something or just think about something that i want for once so um it's a good way like i said to just get them to do their own thing if we're baking cookies or muffins i'll let them add the ingredients into the bowl or i'll give them their own bowl with some fake ingredients like a couple oats maybe a little bit of salt and i'll say you put it all in there and mix it yourself um, and it honestly keeps them busy for about half hour to an hour for me and it's it's huge It's definitely the time for me to just like breathe and relax and uh, Definitely wouldn't have it any other way the next thing that we do now This is dependent on whether or not you have an unfinished basement or you have an area outside that you can do this in But we'll get big bubbles and our basement's currently unfinished We're working on finishing it So I'll send them in the basement and I'll say go blow bubbles and I don't care if it goes on our floor because our floor is only cement So it just dries up but um, if that doesn't work then try taking them outside like I said with the bubbles or on the porch so this kind of is like a, a part of this tip um, if you have a porch and you have a small enough entrance, like if you have your porch and then you have your stairs that go down out to your driveway or, or a sidewalk, if it's a small enough entrance on your porch, you can actually take a baby gate, open it up all the way and clip it in so they actually can't leave the porch. And this is great because then you can give them chalk or a snack or popsicle or bubbles or something and they can actually sit on the porch and use it and they can't escape. So that's a really good tip there. Another tip is I honestly will just put them in front of the computer or the TV and let them watch something. Um, a lot of moms are going to tell you like you, your kids should not have a lot of screen time and I am a firm believer in not giving your kids a lot of screen time and I do know that you know the electromagnetic fields and stuff will disrupt their body and it can cause harm but at some point in my opinion um, the health of the mother is important too and if you're going to go insane your kids can handle a little bit of screen time without any adverse reactions so I will put them in front of the TV and I find a TV show that they will both like if your kids are completely different age gaps and they don't like the same TV show, give one of them like, usually the older one a tablet so they don't break it, um, and then the younger one will get the TV. Or I say, you get 20 minutes of your favorite TV show and then he's gonna get 20 minutes of his. So it's a good way to break it up. And that way they feel like they're each, you know, um, getting a turn. And I usually would give the younger one the turn first since they tend to not wanna wait as long. Um, so anyways, those are just some of my tips. Another thing that I do is I just wait for my husband to get home from work. When he comes home, I will go take some time for myself. Um, and I also will go and get a babysitter, whether it's my mom, siblings or a friend to watch my kids for a little bit so I can just escape from the house. But these are just some tips. They're very obvious tips and they're probably ones that everyone thinks about, but um, sometimes they're ones that you just don't really do because you either feel like you shouldn't, like the TV or something, or, or hiding out in the room, or you're just too busy to think of it. So these are what I do every single day because I honestly feel like I'm just gonna lose it sometimes when they're all crying at the same time or they all start fighting or they're all making a mess or um, pulling at me and wanting something constantly. I just wanna rip my hair out and these are the ways that I can cope and kind of get through the day until my husband gets home or until they go to bed. So um, my biggest tip is definitely just having everything prepped in the morning so that you can have a good start to your day and not feel like you've already are off to a bad start, if that makes sense. So I hope you enjoyed these tips. Um, if you do like them, please give them a thumb, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you're new to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye.